Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So in my previous video, I have discussed in detail about the mathematical intuition behind gradient descent and how to implement the same in MATLAB and how to get the linear regression model using gradient descent. This also I have discussed, right? Now in my this video, I am going to discuss just modified version of gradient descent which works faster than this, okay? And that is nothing but gradient descent with momentum or we also call this momentum based gradient descent, okay? What is that? See, in gradient descent what we do? We take some random initial case and we try to minimize our objective function, right? Now, suppose you are going to one place, you are going to that place first time, you don't know the location, okay? So first of all, what you will do, you are going small with small, small steps. Now you ask one person that where is this location? The person guides you. So what will happen? You will be a little bit confident about that particular location and you will increase your step size. Then after some time, you ask another person that whether this is the way, the person confirms that. That time what you will do? You will increase the step size with more confidence you can move in that particular direction right so each time your confidence is increasing and you are increasing your step size according to that okay because you are becoming more confident right that's what the intuition behind momentum based gradient descent that's what is happening if i am repeatedly being asked to move in the same direction then i should probably gain some confidence and start taking bigger steps okay so with respect to this particular gradient descent how i can say suppose randomly initial case is this location now if each time i am going down and down then i will get confidence about this fact that our objective function take minimum value in this direction only. So next time what I, I will do, I will start taking bigger steps so that I can quickly reach the optimal location with a small time, okay, or faster, right? So this is what is momentum based gradient descent, okay? Like, for example, a ball, when you start rolling from hill, okay, suppose this condition only, suppose you place sorry suppose you place one ball here okay what happens it's going down and down and it, it, it's momentum basically increasing right so you can just consider the ball rolling down the hill situation with this particular momentum based gradient descent the momentum of the ball increasing like that we have to model our program such that it will becoming more and more confident and it will start taking larger steps or it will become faster or it will be accelerated if it get confidence okay so how we can do this particular intuition with respect to mathematical form and then from mathematical form we will go to coding. See very simple initially the equation might not that much give feeling but I will explain just wait for some time. Okay. So in previously if you consider gradient descent our update formula was what our update formula was x equal to x naught minus eta into gradient okay gradient is the derivative value at that particular position where now i am currently present eta is learning rate x naught is the current x value and this x is next time iteration x value okay now instead of that the modified equation for momentum based gradient descent is this one update of t equal to gamma into update of t minus 1 plus eta into gradient and this update value will subtract from the current x value and we will get the next x value okay so the new term which is incorporated new constant feature we can say this gamma okay eta is learning rate right what is update t i will be discussing how it will take values okay just wait for some time this eta is learning rate as earlier and this gamma is nothing but similar to acceleration in machine it will accelerate now how it will accelerate see if you just go through this particular computation you can understand initially our update value is zero because we have not started in the initially we are at the top of the hill suppose we even have not started so update value is zero next time update one equal to 
put that in formula gamma into update 0 plus eta into gradient 1 at that location whatever gradient value we are getting okay so what is update 1 value update 1 value will be basically equal to eta into gradient 1 because gamma into update 0 will be 0 because update 0 is 0 okay then what will be update 2 update 2 will be gamma into update 1 plus eta into gradient 2 gradient at that location only and gamma into previous update there is gamma into update 1 what is update 1 update 1 value is this one right or you can simply put eta into gradient 1 also here i have not replaced update 0 by 0 okay you can replace and do this simplification also if you just remove the brackets parenthesis you will be getting update 2 equal to gamma square into update 0 plus gamma into eta into gradient 1 plus eta into gradient 2 okay put update 0 value as 0 you will be getting update 2 equal to gamma into eta into gradient 1 plus eta into gradient 2 okay update 3 will be what update 3 will be gamma into update 2 plus eta into gradient 3 it's like that you put this particular one in this particular update 2 value you will be getting this equation if you remove parenthesis you will be getting gamma square into eta into gradient 1 plus gamma into eta into gradient 2 plus eta into gradient 3 now each time what we will do, each time we will subtract this particular term from my current x value and I will be getting next x value, okay. So, see, previously suppose at third step, update 3, okay, I want to calculate next x value. If you consider normal gradient descent, what is, should be the value? x next equal to x current minus of eta into gradient 3, okay. But this time what we are doing? x next equal to x that is current x minus of gamma square into eta into gradient 1 plus gamma into eta into gradient 2 plus eta into gradient 3. That is we are not only considering eta into gradient 3 we are considering the previous values also okay. These also are giving me confidence about the steps okay and I am moving ahead right. So kind of exponential weight I am giving and gamma and eta, eta is learning rate okay gamma value is also in between 0 and 1. So, you can understand gamma square into eta into gradient 1. This value will be very small. This will be bigger than that and this will be largest among these three terms, right? So, basically what we are doing, we are considering or giving priority to the previous step, whatever we have done the highest. And previous to previous, we are giving less weightage. Previous to previous to previous, we are giving lesser weightage, okay? That means what we are doing, just my previous person, I am giving more importance and as I am going away, so I am starting uh, giving lesser weightage. That's what is the application rule simply, okay? And let's implement in MATLAB and let's see that whether it is increasing the speed of convergence or not, okay? So here is the code. Right, so before going to the gradient descent using momentum, let me just show you the code with normal gradient descent. Okay, so CLC clear all close all warning of seems x1 omega t, x2 omega t, okay, or wt, fg equal to this function I am taking, right, plotting giving the surface plot. This visualization also I have shown during gradient descent also, only 70 iteration I am taking, and the updation rule is as like normal gradient descent x next equal to x minus of learning rate into the derivative fellow okay so here i am taking partial derivative with respect to x1 and this one is partial derivative with respect to x2 and then plotting okay if i just run this whole code okay see what we are getting so this is my surface this is the valley part and as soon as I will run this, you, you can see one red ball will slowly by slowly coming down. Okay, see? Eventually coming down and we can clearly understand that this is normal gradient descent. But as I am taking only 70 iteration, it is unable to come up to the bottom part. It is stuck, getting stuck in the middle only. Okay, I have to increase the number of iteration. But instead of this, if I am using momentum based gradient descent, what is happening? See, just modification is I am using update equal to 0 initially as I have told you. Then each time update equal to the gamma which I am taking 0 0.9 into update, previous update plus of learning rate into 
gradient at that particular location as simple as that and then I am updating okay so here if I ignore I can ignore this line x1 equal to x1 minus update x2 equal to x2 minus update updating both x1 and x2 right and then plotting okay so if I just run this whole code you can see that how faster this will okay yes how faster it will basically converge right so this is my surface if I just run see the ball is kind of oscillating little bit kind of a ball if you just throw from this part or if you just allow to slide from this hill how the ball will move like that only it is going and it is stopping here okay this is momentum based gradient descent obviously some oscillation we are getting uh, this is little bit problem but anyway I hope you can understand that due to momentum it is going to opposite direction then it is rectifying itself see again I am running ball is going up and down and eventually it is coming to the central location so see only with 70 iteration where in gradient descent we stuck in the hill part only that is in the slope of the hill but with momentum based gradient descent we reached the valley okay so this is the power of momentum based gradient descent which is uh, which converges much faster okay so instead of updating simply like uh, x next equal to x current minus eta into gradient at the current location if we update like this that is update of t equal to gamma into update of t minus 1 plus eta into gradient if we are considering previous uh, gradient values also and then if we update it will converge much faster okay this is what i wanted to show you code will be posted in the description box or in the comment section if you want you can go and check there Thank you for watching.